Lewis Jerry with the Tesla Owners Club of Nebraska, Tesla Jerry13 on Twitter. Uh, just to do a brief overview of my Eibach, one inch lowering springs for my performance uh, P3D minus. Uh, just a quick, quick summary of everything. Uh, so it's, it's a one inch reduction in the front, about a three quarters in the back, hasn't totally settled out. But just a brief overview, so we pop the, the front open, take seven 10 millimeter bolts out, and then uh, there's three on each side, 13 millimeter bolts, and they gotta be ground down. You gotta take your socket and actually grind them down to fit, and when you think you've ground them down enough, grind more, because they will fit, but they're not all completely centered, so you're gonna have to play with them, really get to them. Uh, once you remove those, there'll be A-arm brackets, uh, there's a upper uh, receiver you get to pull apart, and then uh, a few other things, but on each side, uh, the basic theory of this is that you will need a professional wall-mounted spring removal tool to make this work without dying. So you definitely want to make sure you have a professional or an option to where you either bought this super wall-mounted device, um, and I'll include a picture, but it's critically needed for this assembly. The back ones, you're going to take a strut mount out and then a cross member mount out, and it's just going to fall out, so it's not as vital in the back. But so, uh, just something to think about when you're going to do this yourself. Otherwise, it's going to be about a three to four hour job from a shop times $140 an hour. So just think about that when you're buying them. Uh, definitely way cheaper than the cross or the coilovers, but uh, for what I did, pretty happy. Drove it about 200 miles a day. Uh, gravel roads, everything impressed, lower, but not hitting speed bumps. Did four or five speed bumps today with no problems. So, just something to think about. $300 airbox springs compared to your coilovers for $2,500. I felt like the value was in these springs. A little bit lower, about a 4% uh, less of a drag coefficient according to the unplugged performance websites. Um, that's going to be here and over there because I didn't use it unplugged performance springs, but just something to consider. Uh, a few more videos added to this. Uh, my 11 year old daughter is doing the video I'm in, so please don't bash this video because A, you don't care, and B, uh, that's not your format. Nobody cares about your opinion. Have a great day, and Tesla on. Hello, and this is the before pictures for my iBox spring lowering kit. It's a one inch kit. You can see that uh, top of the tower tire is about two inches or so in the front. About two and a quarter here in the back. All right, I'll show you what the front will be. All right, got the back, just two bolts to release, and then uh, open it back up.